Hey guys and welcome back to episode 15 of our Ford Transit Custom Camper Build. So in the video today I'm going to be going from hopefully a box full of electrical components to a fully wired 12 volt and 240 volt camper van. Wish me luck! Okay, so the first thing I want to do is start with a, a disclaimer. So I am not an electrician and I am going to be doing this um, for the first time. So I have done lots of research on what to do and how best to pull all of this together. But I would always advise to you know, seek the advice of an actual um, proper electrician before doing this yourself. And we are going to be getting this fully tested by a bona fide electrician as well before we actually start using it in the van. So with that being said, just want to give you a quick rundown in terms of the um, the kit that we've got. So I'm going to focus first of all on the 12 volt side of the electrics. And this came supplied to us in kit form by a company called Wired Campers. So it's all the components you need to do uh, the actual wiring yourself. So as you can see, none of this came sort of pre-wired on the 12 volt side it's just all of the components that you need to pull everything together so what we've got just starting over here we've got some 16 mil cable which is going to be used to run from the battery in the vehicle the vehicle battery through to our split charge relay and the split charge relay will make sure that we can um, split between the power between the vehicle battery and our leisure battery. So how this is essentially going to work, it will sense the voltage which is coming from the vehicle battery and it will make sure that the vehicle battery gets priority in terms of charge. And once that's up to the relevant and the right um, voltage, the split charge relay will kick in when the vehicle is running and then it will start to charge our leisure battery as well. So that's going to be the, the split charge relay. We've also got some um, additional 16 millimeter cable, which will be to run for our earth and we'll go through all of the connections later on. Got some 12 um, volt cable as well. So this is going to be used to wire back from our appliances back into our control panel. So this is a five gang control panel. And as you can see, it's got the switches on and the switches are going to be for our, our various appliances. It's also got within the panel itself, it's got two USBs and also a sort of 12 volt plug-in sort of cigar type attachment as well. This came pre-wired to a certain degree. So at the back of this looks pretty scary, but all of the, the different components are all sort of daisy chained together from one to the other. And there are two sort of cables here off the back of that. And this is what's going to be used to wire that back to our, to our leisure battery as well. So I'll go through this in more detail um, when we come to actually do the wiring. The other thing that I've got that didn't come with the kit was um, this bar. So this is going to be our negative or our earth bar. And we're going to be able to wire all of the negative terminals from our appliances back to this. So we've got a common earth and then the common earth is going to terminate onto the bodywork of the van itself. So just going to make it a little bit easier to wire everything back to this one common bar. So we're not running multiple earth points to different places in the van. Also got uh, an isolator switch. So this is going to be the main isolator switch so we can completely turn everything off in the van if we choose to. So if we're going to be leaving the van for a, for a period of time, we can completely isolate the electrics and make sure we're not going to be pulling down on, on any charge or anything like that from the leisure battery when the vehicle is not in use. Next, we've got these inline fuses. So the inline fuses are going to sit between um, the vehicle battery and the uh, split charge relay, which I'll go into in more, more detail. So we've got a couple of those as well. Um, we've got the heat shrink here, um, which will go over the wire connectors. 
a couple of connectors or a few different connectors that will go onto the end of our wires to attach in, in various places. Got the two connectors for the actual physical leisure battery itself, so we can start to wire everything back to the battery. And a couple of covers for the battery terminals. Got a load of uh, cable tie mounts and a bunch of cable ties as well. Next thing I've got is also inline fuses. So these are additional inline fuses that didn't come with the kit. I'm going to use these in between the, the power that's going to run from the, um, the five gang switch back to the, the leisure battery as well, just so we know we've got that um, fully, um, I guess, connected with um, amps as well, just for extra protection. So that's all the, the kit that we've got for our, for our 12 volt, volt side. I'm going to get cracking now with the first piece, which will be starting to wire up the battery side connection for the vehicle battery into our split charge relay. Okay, so the, the first stage is the first thing. Oh, you know. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to fit the fuse first, the inline fuse that's going to run from our vehicle battery over here, which has got the connection on. And that's going to go through to the inline fuse itself. So this will be the inline fuse. And what will essentially happen is wire will come in here, attach here. Fuse will exist between these two points. And then the wire is going to come out this side, which is going to go to our leisure battery. And apologies for the dogs barking in the background. Awesome. So that's the, the first little phase done. So I've just got the um, connector on for the battery end and two connections now going into our fuse either side. So that's the first stage done. Next bit now is going to be to quickly measure up for the location of our split charge relay. So this is then the split charge relay. What we have here then is coming in on this side is the positive connection to the, the vehicle battery. And you'll notice that there is a little red dot on the top of there, which is the positive. And the next one of this terminal here, that's gonna then continue through to the, um, the, the leisure battery on the other side as well. So gonna show how we strip the wires and got this fitted. Okay, so that's our split charge relay wired up now. The other wire in here as well is this uh, black wire here, which I'll just put a, a crimp on the end, and that's going to go back to our earthing point on the van. So yeah, that's all connected up now. Um, there'll be a, a box that goes onto there, and we're going to fix that into the actual furniture of the van. So that's the, the next part done. So next stage now is just done. So I've now gone from the split charge relay out of the split charge relay into uh, another fuse. And from that fuse then, this is then going to go to our leisure battery. So that's pretty much the, um, the split charge wiring done. And I'll do a quick summary. Okay, just going to summarize then what we've done so far. So the first connection is going to go to the vehicle battery. From the vehicle battery, we then go to the first fuse. From the fuse, we then go to our split charge relay. From our split charge relay, we also then will go to another fuse. 
and then that fuse will then lead to the positive terminal on our leisure battery. So that's the, the summary so far. I'm next gonna move on to getting the 12 volt side of the system wired in as well. Let's go. So first stage of the, the 12 volt system for me anyway, I'm first gonna be cutting a hole into the side of my uh, wardrobe, which is the furniture. And this is where my 12 volt uh, switch panel um, is gonna be located. That's a switch panel now gone into the, the side of the furniture. It's gone in okay. And this is going to be the, the fun part now is, uh, you know, figuring out where to terminate all of these. But I'll, I'll go through that in a second. Right, so just want to go through the basic principles now of how the, the wiring is, is going to work. And it's going to be a, a common process through, through all of the wiring that I'm going to do on, on the 12 volt side. So the first thing to note is that this particular switch panel has got inline fuses. So you can get a separate um, fuse box or a fuse board, wire these into the fuse board and then back out. But these have come all with a, an inline fuse, which kind of makes it a little bit easier to, um, to do the actual wiring itself. So you'll notice we've just got the, um, the red or the, the positive terminal. And the principle is gonna be exactly the same now. So imagine that these wires here are um, coming in from one of our appliances. So we've got a positive and a negative. What we're gonna be doing is we'll be taking all of the, uh, the positives back and the positives are gonna be wired in to the actual switch itself. So we're gonna have, say this was a fridge or if it was our lights, that's going to go into the switch for the, the positive. So positive to positive on, on the appliance itself. In terms of the, the negative, so before we mentioned that one of the components we've got is our uh, common earth bar. So all of the negatives for the appliances are going to be wired back to here. So everything on the negative side is going to come back to our common earth bar. And that will also include the, the negative for the actual um, panel itself. And the positive of the panel is, is going to go to the to the actual leisure battery directly. So the, the panel itself has, has got power. So that's going to be the, the principle. All of the appliances will, will be exactly the same. And we're just going to work through and get all of that done. So that's going to be the end of the, the video today. Just really wanted to cover the principles in, in this first part. And in the next part, I'm going to be actually physically wiring all of the appliances back and doing the test as well. So hopefully that's been a good introduction in the, in the video today. And hopefully you can join us for part two, where I'll be continuing with the wiring. Thanks for watching, guys.